So you just got waves real time, but all the tutorials on YouTube are 18 minutes long for some reason, and it's actually a really simple plugin. So let me just quickly break this down for you guys in the easiest way possible, and you'll never need another tutorial again. So here's my song before Waves Real Time. I used to call it Coraline. It was scary, it got hairy, I was horrified. Yeah. So as you can see, for the most part, everything is in key. It sounds pretty good, but we just need to make some micro adjustments using some sort of auto-tune, pitch correction, whatever you want to call it. So here's a song with waves real time. I used to call it Coraline. It was scary, it got hairy, I was horrified. Yeah, she knew that there was more to life. I was simple, I was lazy, I'm the born type. Sounds perfect. So let's go ahead and start with speed and note transition. The speed is how fast the autotune is impacting your vocal. And the note transition is essentially how robotic or non-robotic you're going to sound, similar to the human eyes. And you would think that having these dials upward is what would make them impact the vocal more, but actually having them downward is what makes them impact the vocal more. So for me, I typically like to have the speed max and then the note transition about half. And this is a good way to mask autotune and just get those micro adjustments that we're looking for. Otherwise, you get like a T-Pain effect. And what you can even do is link these. So let's say I have my speed max and my note transition at half. This will make sure that they stay the same distance from each other at all times. You can simply just drag this back and forth until you like how it sounds. Now, correction. Just think of this as a dry wet knob. This impacts the plugin as a whole. Essentially, this increases or decreases these original note transition and speed settings that you have set. So as we decrease this, it's just applying less of the plugin. And then down in range, this isn't really that important. Keeping it generic just keeps it nice and open. You can choose any of these different ones. These will actually teach you what kind of singer you are, whether you're baritone, tenor, soprano, all these things. So let me hit play here. So as you can see, my voice is sitting in this scale around here, which would be tenor. And as you can see, if I hit soprano here, I'm not even in the range of that vocal. So I would just keep it generic because as you set your scale, the range will change automatically when using generic. We have our scale, and this is the most important part because if you don't have your scale set right, then your whole song is going to sound like crap. So how do we do this? Well, all you got to do is go on a website like tunepad.com, go to the key and BPM finder, and you're going to drag your beat into this. This one just happens to be F sharp major. And then when it comes to the MIDI input slash keyboard, this isn't really important for you if you're not using MIDI input keyboard, which if you're just recording vocals, you probably aren't. The reference hurts. You can just keep that the same. It won't really impact anything at all. And boom, that's literally all you need to know. If you guys have any other questions about the plugin as a whole, please let me know in the comments below, but I'm sure that you probably got it pretty figured out. If you want professional vocals like this, I actually use a preset pack called Vocal Sauce Volume 3, which you can download using my first link below. Considering you're looking this tutorial up, it's quite possible that you might be a beginner, and Vocal Sauce Volume 3 is something that'll allow you to have a professional sound without knowing all the ins and outs of vocal mixing because it takes years to master something like this. And you can even use my code Joey at checkout for 30% off. And if you want a video on some of the misconceptions of autotune, check out this video right here that I did, which might even clear up any other questions you have about autotune.